In this video, we're going to talk about finding the angle of rotation when we're given a pre-image and an image. So I'm going to start by trying to identify where my center of rotation is. And I'm going to do that by looking at my pre-image, which is A, B, C, D, looking at my image, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, and try to figure out what happened here. So if I look at this, it looks like my point A here was rotated clockwise to A prime, C was rotated clockwise to C prime, B was rotated clockwise to B prime, D looks like it stayed stationary. And so what that looks like to me is that D was held still while all three of these points on top were rotated around D. So that's important here because that means my center of rotation is going to be the point D. And as we noted before, this was rotated clockwise. That's important. So now we're actually going to try to measure the angle. So I am going to construct some lines just using my straight edge. So take the bottom of your protractor, and I'm going to emphasize the line from A to the center of rotation and the line from A prime to the center of rotation because what we're looking at is that A got rotated around to A prime. Those are corresponding points. So now I'm going to take my protractor. I'm going to put the vertex right on the center there. And I'm going to rotate this around so my bottom line lines up with zero. So take a second and see what reading you get there. So as we discussed, that reading should be around 76 degrees. And since this was rotating clockwise, that would be a rotation of negative 76 degrees. So we're going to try another one to so look at your next problem. And here I want to find the center of rotation and the angle of rotation. So pause the video for a second and I want you to think about where might the center be and how did this rotate. Okay, so thinking about this, I did not have a stationary point here, right? So point A rotated counterclockwise to A prime. C rotated counterclockwise to C prime, B to B prime, D to D prime. But what did happen here is they rotated around the point E. So that's a point that's off the shape. So I want to pick two points that are corresponding. So I'm going to use A and A prime again. And all I did here was connect from A to my center of rotation and from A prime to my center of rotation. Because remember I said my center of rotation here was point E. So now I want to calculate the angle of rotation. So take your protractor, measure that, and when you feel like you've got it, give me a thumbs up. So I put my vertex right at the center of my protractor. I'm going to rotate this around so that zero lines up with the bottom of my protractor, or with the bottom of my angle, and then I'm going to measure this angle. And I see that that angle comes out to be approximately 52. This is rotating counterclockwise, so my angle of rotation here would be 52 degrees, and that's positive because we rotated counterclockwise. Rotated counterclockwise. 